Hey, Kings and Dragons, Dragon King 551 here. We are back with another Michigan video. It's a March Madness time. This is the NCAA tournament breakdown video for round one. And Michigan got it done. Um, last time they were 11th seed, they got knocked out in the first round to Notre Dame. They refused to do that this time and upset Colorado State. With that being said, let's go right into the stat line. And also, Devontae Jones wasn't in this game. That's twice we've had no Michigan player or star in the game, and somehow we've rallied behind our team and have won. Frankie Collins stepped up in a big way, and the game where we didn't have Hunter Dickinson, we also won that. So let's go right into these highlights and stats, and um, let's go right through everything. So first off, I want to talk about how we were down 15. At halftime, we came around, we bailed our team out, um, came together as a team, and uh, we won ultimately at, in the end. And um, we came back and pulled a 180 on their ass, and we went up by 12 or close to 15 points. And we said, hey, how does it feel to be down by 15 on the other side in Indiana? So first off, let's go through each player. We got Moza Diabate with seven points, two assists, and nine rebounds. Not bad. Hunter Dickinson, the big man with 21 points, one assist, and six rebounds. Eli Brooks came to play, 16 points, six assists, and seven rebounds. Cable Houston, um, he definitely came clutch. He hit a couple of threes in the second half and definitely um, provided for our team when it mattered most. And um, like I said before, the threes will come when they matter most in a game, and they mattered the most in this game today, and um, Caleb Houston came to play. So he got 13 points, two assists, and five rebounds. Frankie Collins he also came to play. He had 14 points, two assists, and six rebounds. Brandon John Jr. had zero points, one assist, and one rebound, which is not bad. He, um, he did do some damage. Kobe Bufkin had two points, and Terrence Williams had two points, one assist, and one rebound. Now, Kobe Bufkin had two points, but those two points were the, um, the foul shots on the line. You get um, you brought him in to be a better foul shot percentage than uh, Frankie Collins, which wasn't the bit bad thing. That's what Jawan Howard did. He he put him in, Frankie Collins right here, for defense and um, good offense altogether. But for the foul line, he substituted him out for Kobe Bufkin, and Kobe Bufkin came in, he got fouled, and put two points on the line. Let's go over to Colorado State. So you got Roddy here. He got 13 points. You got Thomas with 15. You got Moore with 10. You got Stevens with eight. You got John Kaji with two. Chandler Jacobs with seven. Jalen Lake with six. James Morris with two. And yeah, that's all I have to say about them. Let's go right into the team stats here. Let's talk about this. So... All together here, we got Michigan field goal percentage, 54.2, 35.4, shot better. Three-point percentage, 29%, 34, but hey, it happens, and there were a couple threes we hit in the big game. 86 from the line, 71. These were the big numbers. I said, what matters the most is this one and this one. This will come and go when you need it, and that's why we won ultimately. Like these, You shot poor here and you shot good here. If you shoot pretty solidly here, 54% um, or more, and you're shooting great at the line, you're probably going to win the game. Look, 36 rebounds, 25, six offensively, nine for them, but that didn't really matter. Okay, they got three more rebounds than us on, on the boards offensively, got a couple more um, point differentials there, but it's okay. 15 assists, 16 assists, four blocks, zero blocks, five steals, 10 steals. 15 turnovers, 11 turnovers, 11 fouls, 19 fouls, big fouls. And I did say the turnovers were going to be a problem, but Michigan still battled hard and said, hey, even though we average 12 turnovers a game, um, I think we can get better. And they have, and they were able to stay focused and still win the game. So let's go right into this highlight reel. And let's just go right through each, um, each of the plays here. And let's talk it out and let's watch how we came back. Look at how big Hunter Dickinson is against that other center. I mean, he's got like a couple inches on him. Boom, right to us. That's what I like to see. All right, let's see. Colorado going in. Bounces outside. Nice three for them. I mean, you got to close out better on that. 
Hunter Dickinson, what's he going to do? He's got two men on him, but somehow he drives through the contact and is able to get the two points. I like that. Ooh, just a fade away on Brooks. I mean, bigger man on him, so it happens. You know, it's going to happen. Brooks drives, gets bumped, gets a two. I think that is an and one, so beautiful play there by um, Brooks. Just a nice drive, able to get an M1. Not closing out fast enough by Diabate there, but that's okay. I mean, we rattled back even though they scored there. Oof, a miss, but Diabate got a rebound. He says, hey, let me give it to Brooks, who's a good three-point shooter. Just a miss there. Caleb Houston gets the rebound and puts it back up. So I like the way that he plays. He's got a nice motor, Caleb Houston. Boom, Hunter Dickinson says, get that crap out of here. No, sir, you can't go up against me. I'm seven foot one. Again, a good three by Colorado State there. You got to close out better on that, and we just got to stay more focused on where the ball is going. You cannot leave a guy open on an island like that, and he shoots another terrific three over Hunter Dickinson. Just great pass. Hunter Dickinson doesn't close out fast enough. You got to suffocate him, put your hands up, and make sure they can't breathe on the three-point line. Good pass to Hunter Dickinson there. Drives through the contact. A nice um, lucky bounce there, and it falls for us. Hey, that's what I like to see. Ooh, too, too strong on that shot. Brandon Johnson Jr., Oof. Hunter Dickinson tried to come over and um, help, but no cigar. Eli Brooks in trouble there, off balance. But Hunter Dickinson able to pivot and just get a nice shot in there. I like the way that he moves. Smart decision there. Oof. Kobe Buffkin couldn't finish on that, so happens. Brandon Shawns Jr. doesn't have the best defense this year. I mean, he played better last year. I don't know why. I feel like it's because um, he's a senior and he has more pressure now because there's no Livers or Wagner there. So that's a big problem. Frustrated. Double team. And somehow they got the rebound back on that. Colin Williams, you got to jump on that, sir. Can't be on the ground like that. You got to jump in the air and um, get that shot blocked. Just good movement, a good screen, and a terrific three for Colorado State there. Don't got much more to say. I mean, when you got a screen, you got a screen. I apologize for this ad problem. Stupid, 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 stupid. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. Uh, so let's go back here a little bit. So you can see what I'm talking about. Um, right. Just right, right here, gives it back door, gives it right back. Boom, a screen right there on Williams. Just a terrific screen. Um, what more can you say? I mean, that's a um, good um, offense there. Drives, ooh, nice pass out. And again, when you're playing zone or something like that, you're going to get killed, and there's going to be a guy on an island wide open for the three. Frankie Collins goes up. Ooh, a pretty nice um, – Lay up, count it, and one. Making, we were four for four in the, oh, and Frankie Collins says, hey, let me get some air on that. I can sh um, dunk if I want to. Again, though, Hunter Dickinson having a tough time with the defense, and they are just shooting threes on him. Frankie Collins, oh, a nice pass to Caleb Houston there, a nice under the basket layup, beautiful. Oof, a terrific pass, though. That was pretty solid by Colorado State there. And a wide-open three for them again. What are you going to do? I mean, the threes weren't falling for us in the first half. We had 0 for 7, but we started moving a little bit better in the second. Oh, nice nice box out by uh, Hunter Dickinson there. Beautiful. Let's see. Frankie Collins going in, and he goes up. Beautiful shot. I like the way he plays. He's got a nice motor. It's not the worst decision in the world, but I feel like Frankie Collins is better than Jones. He's more athletic and stuff. Jones is better with, like, running the offense, but he's not, like, the strongest player out there and stuff. So that's why I like Frankie a little bit better. He's more athletic, and he has more of a, of a motor. 
There you go, Johns Jr. Pass it right to Hunter Dickinson, and he goes up and gets a nice shot for you. Okay, 29-36, we're in the second half. Ooh, a spin away, and Caleb Houston needs to focus more on that. You got to drive in. You can't let that happen. Just back it off. Shot, Diabate. He's not the greatest at shooting threes, but he can probably hit a couple. Hunter Dickinson, a tough shot, but still able to get it in. Now only down five. Frankie Collins moving up the floor, and he goes up and gets a two, and now we're only down three. That's what I like to see from our team. A drive, oof, wide open three again. You got to close out better on that. You cannot let that happen. Where do they go? It's wide open. Oh, Caleb Houston, nice rebound, gives it to Frankie Collins, and he says, hey, let me hit a three. Thank you very much. I will. And now we're only down three again. Colorado State was a tough team, though. I mean, we battled hard. They battled hard. And ultimately, wide open three again. You got to close out on that. But we battled hard. They battled hard. And ultimately, the team that came out and played better was Michigan at the end. Oof. Diabate, though, aim only in it and um, get that rebound and put it back in. Now only down four. Oof, a tough miss there. I mean, he had a breakaway. There was no one around him, and he just completely missed. Caleb Houston in the corner. He says, let me hit a three. Thank you very much. I'll bring it within one. Caleb Houston again says, hey, let me hit a three. Oh, I missed. But who's there? Eli Brooks and says, hey, I got your back. Don't worry. We'll take the lead right now. 45-44. Diabate had some foul trouble. Oh, a bad deflection. Caleb Houston should have been able to grab that, but it happens, you know. Tough decision there, and it just happens. Under Dickinson, oof. He was faster that, um, forward and just able to get there. This is where I thought we had trouble, but somehow we came back, and Brooks says, hey, let me hit a shot. Beautiful shot by him. Frankie Collins bringing it up the floor. Brooks, shake his and bakes that guy. Gives it to Caleb Houston in the corner again. Another three-pointer for him. He says, let me hit that. Let's take the lead. And they do not able to convert on that. Caleb Houston, another three. Yes, sir, it's in. He was on fire with his three-pointers. Caleb Houston on the deck. Everyone trying to get the ball. It's stripped away from Michigan. And here comes Colorado State. Beautiful three by Colorado State there. Sorry, I choked on that. Um. That was a beautiful three. Let's go back on that. You can see that it's a good... I want to pause it right there. Hey, I'm going to pause it right here. You can see that Kobe Buffkin, it's a pretty good closeout here with Kobe Buffkin coming up. And it's um it's kind of a heat check. It's a difficult shot, but he's able to still get it over Kobe Buffkin and get the shot in. So I like it. Pretty good defense on that, but better offense ultimately, and, you know, they bring it within two. I'm sorry, within one. Within one. I, I apologize. That was a three. Eli Brooks. Diabate. He goes up. Ooh, a tip on the rim and still floats in. Nice shot by Diabate there. High arcing shot, and Eli Brooks gets it. I thought he was injured there. He was on the ground for a long time, but he's all right. He shakes it off, and I think he'll be all right in the next game. Caleb, he's – oh, can't do much more on that bigger body on Brandon Johns Jr. and is just able to cut. Look at that. I mean, Hunter Dickinson and one. I thought he was going to pass there, but he battled through that. We saw it in the first half. He did the same thing against um, two players on him with the double team and still able to get it. Frankie Collins with a nice high arcing backboard shot there. Beautiful layup. Caleb Houston. Oof. Brooks, they're able to knock that down. That was a really deep three there. I mean, that was huge. Uh, no, 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 no. You got to pass. Oh. Under Dickinson. Yes. A beautiful pass to him. Those guys came out. Let's go back on that. And see what happens here. These two guys right here for Colorado State are too far out. And when that happens, 
Hunter Dickinson is coming this way and he's moving closer to the basket. And these two guys right here have their backs turned. And that's a big no-no. When you have your backs turned here and stuff and Hunter Dickinson's back is not turned and he is cutting to the basket here and he's going this way and he's going right here, he's going to have an easy shot right there to the shot and you're going to not be able to stop that. So he just goes right there, a beautiful pass right there. And what are you going to do? Those two guys are turned and they're not able to get to him and he's able to put up a nice shot. Two minutes left. Oof, a difficult shot by Colorado State, but able to put it in. Eli Brooks. Beautiful shot by Brooks there. Able to get a nice two. And that is the game 75 to 63. A couple of foul shots we hit at the end. The game is ours. We move on to the second round, the round of 32. And I am happy to see our team do well for that. I am very, very happy um, the way that we played that game. And um, we fought hard. We came back. And um, we're now um, in contention again. And we're looking forward to winning round two. Round two is going to be harder, though. We got Tennessee on Saturday. It's going to be a tough matchup. It's going to be difficult. I hope that we can win that one and keep moving forward and um, seeing how far we can go. Maybe we can get that UCLA vibe where we're the 11th seed and we start pouring it on and we get there. So, yeah, until next time, guys, don't forget to stay radical. I'll see you in the next one. And as they say in Michigan, go blue.